When you choose a school for your daughter, it will be one of the most important decisions that you make. I'm absolutely confident that at the Royal High School, you will see that you got that choice absolutely right. We love the school. Basically, we see how the girls enjoyed it from day one. So their happiness means that we're very happy. I think it's so varied. They do exciting different things. They're encouraged to think for themselves. They're encouraged to be individual and confident about what they're learning and what they're doing. For us, it's been a very good decision. Excellent academic, good extracurricular, competitive pricing. They come home. They eat something and then the stories come tumbling out. Confidence is one of the most important things that a school nurtures in a child. No child learns when they feel uncertain of their surroundings, uncertain of the information they're processing, anxious. And we're extremely mindful of that. One of the things that really develops confidence is the small class sizes that we can offer. And so there's a huge amount of individualised support that goes on in the classroom. It's not just in the classroom that we develop confidence, it's in all the extracurricular opportunities that we provide. So at sports fixtures, in rehearsals, in auditions, in debates, in clubs, in societies. Whatever they're doing, they might be making a speech, they might be baking a cake, but all of these things add up to a really rich experience and they'll suddenly discover an interest they never thought they had. One of the things I'm most proud of at the Royal High School is that there is no dominant type, there's no template for success here. Being a girls' school, there is a wonderful lack of self-consciousness. So if I go and look at the lunch queue, I'll see a girl reading a book, closely followed by our sporty girls coming in from a hockey practice, followed up by girls that are planning their weekend sleepover, followed up by some that are thinking about their most recent science experiment. There isn't tension between those different interests, and I really celebrate that. I'm not afraid to be myself. I enjoy being at school because I have all these amazing friends, and even people that I'm not really friends with, I still get on with them. 18, 19, I like it because there's lots of competitions, and there's a big playing area. We've got a new shed now, which keeps all our toys in it. Bouncy balls, some um, skipping ropes, and some hoops. You just come into school to be with your friends and to work and there's no distractions, there's no relationship drama which could potentially happen. Oh, wow. And we can learn to be sensitive and empathise with each other without boys getting in the way. <laughs> so. It's not just about being socially precocious. Girls flourish here who are kind, who are supportive friends. It's cool to be interested in learning here. Children here don't disengage. They have a huge appetite for finding out about the world around them. Because they normally end up choosing So that when the girls move through to their GCSE choices and then on to A-level and IB choices, there is no sense of subjects that girls don't do. Well, you'd only get so much heat into the torch. Physics is extremely popular here. Maths is our most popular A-level. That's hugely important and actually bucks many national trends when unfortunately we do see girls conforming to stereotypes about the subjects that they choose. <laughs> We're blessed with the most wonderful teaching staff at the Royal High School. When I appoint teachers, I'm looking for people with a real passion for their subject, who love to communicate it to young people. 
When you get that sense of still being a learner in your own subject, there's a wonderful spirit of cooperation and collaboration in the classroom. That's what young people like. What the surface tension is trying to do... The teachers help you enjoy the subjects you actually love doing and that you excel in, but they also support you in the subjects you're not so strong in. Well, personally, I hate maths, <laughs> but because of the support the teachers have given me and said, you know, actually, you can do it, you're not completely useless. And that's really helped and it's made me believe in myself, so maybe I'm not so useless at maths after all. Where do we know? And their commitment to their students is extraordinary. So every lunchtime, every break time, I can come across a meeting between a student or students and their teacher, going the extra mile, making sure that they support them to the best of their ability. You're quite brave, don't you? I feel that pretty much every single student has a really good relationship with their teacher. And especially as you go on in the school, it ends up not like a friendship as such, but you can talk to them and you can relate to them about anything. They have changed the world. If you have a problem, they're always ready to help you, and so there's no sort of real boundary. You sort of go, oh, I'm not in lessons, I can't go and ask them. They're always really happy to help. Being part of the GDST places us in a very fine academic tradition. But it also provides the most wonderful network for our current students. Another part of the GDST mission has always been to make its fee levels accessible to as wide a group of parents as possible. And we have a large range of bursaries and scholarships that are available each year. Our awareness of what makes girls tick also really conditions how we run our entrance procedures. They are relaxed. We want the girls to feel comfortable, not experience some kind of ordeal. The idea behind them is to ensure that they get the best opportunity to show themselves in their best light. <laughs> Our boarding community is very lively and the staff work incredibly hard to create a sense of home from home. What really pleases me is the way the boarding and the day communities are so well integrated. I don't spot the differences. And the boarding children take great pleasure in inviting their day school friends to visit them in their homes. Sarah, how big do you want them? Yeah, Even small. smaller? Yeah. I think if you're looking for an all-rounded education, a happy child, you couldn't do better from the Royal High School. It's been fantastic. Looking back, it has produced two very confident, outward-looking girls. OK, who else wants to go? Confident but not arrogant. That has to be the better way in the modern world. Well, we're in the business of developing great learners, but also really great human beings. And I think that balance is crucial. And when I look at the upper sixth and the end of their journey with us, I'm incredibly proud and I think if these are the young women that are going to be shaping the future, we're in a pretty good place. <laughs>